In this tutorial, we will teach you how to design a sparkly logo for a jewelry shop in Photoshop. Over here, we have opened up a blank document. So let's get started with the text first. We will use the type tool to insert the name of the brand. Now let's change the font style to Beckham Script Pro. With that done, let's increase the size of the text by pressing the Control T key and using the corner placeholders to expand the text on the canvas. Now we will open up Adobe Illustrator, where we have a vector silhouette of a butterfly. You can download this vector stock graphic from blankcodesigns.com.br. Let's bring the vector image to Photoshop, tilt it, and resize it according to the artwork. With that done, we will position the silhouette on the letter L and drag the layer below the text layer. With that done, we will rasterize both the text and the image layers. Next, let's use the magic wand to make a selection of the text. Once selected, let's go to the Filters menu, move over to Render, and then click on the Clouds option. Make sure the foreground color chosen is black and the background color is white, otherwise the filter won't work. Now let's move to the Filter menu once more, select Distort, and then click on the Glass option. Leave the default values as it is, and click on OK. With that taken care of, let's adjust the white balance of the image. For that, move to the Image menu, choose Adjustments, and then select the Curve option. Just move the top placeholder of the curve towards the left side to increase the white balance. For this video, the output value is set to 255. You can experiment with different values according to your artwork. Now we will apply the exact same steps for the silhouette as well, adding the clouds filter, the glass filter, and finally increasing the white balance. With that done, let's create a new layer and name it Background Layer. Here we will use the Gradient tool to apply a gradient on the background layer. We have basically applied a linear gradient, using dark purple for the right and the left side, while using black for the center. Now let's open up the blending options of the text layer. Here we will select the Stroke option and change its fill type to Gradient. With that done, let's select the Copper Gradient Style from the options here. Next we will change the size to 5 pixels and change the angle to 90 degrees. Now let's go to the Bevel and Emboss option and set the levels of depth to 786% and size to 5 pixels. With that done, let's copy this layer style and paste it on the Butterfly Silhouette layer. You can make changes in the Blending option settings according to the shape if needed. Once this is done, create a hue saturation layer and adjust the bar so the outline of the logo looks golden. For this particular design, we have kept the hue levels at positive 19 while the saturation level is kept at 98. Now let's create a new layer and use the brush tool to add shining sparkles on the logo. You can download this free brush pack from brusheasy.com. Let's apply the brush on the corners of the artwork and change the color to white. In the end, we will use the type tool to insert the tagline and the logo is ready. We have used Gabriola for the font, keeping the size at 20 points and white for the color. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.